Hey everybody, Johnny here. In this video, I want to show you two more geometry nodes that I've gotten added to the Blender 3.0 source code. Continuing with my theme of curve nodes, I've added these two. The first one is set spline type, and the second is set handle type. Let's check out what they do. Curve objects and geometry nodes are the same as regular curve objects. Each curve object can have multiple separate splines. And in normal curve objects, those splines are either bezier or nerbs. In geometry nodes, there's a third type that's been added. That's the polyspline. A polyspline is basically a bezier curve with a resolution of one. So each control point goes to the next control point with a straight line. Most of the curve primitives, like star and quadrilateral, use the polyspline type. But now, with the set spline type node added, we can convert those to the other types. For instance, let's take this star primitive and put it into the set spline type node. We'll then route the set spline type node to the output. Like I said, polysplines are basically a simplified type of Bezier curve. So if we change our star to Bezier, we don't see any immediate changes. Let's go ahead instead and set the type to NURBS. Now we immediately see some changes. This is because of the difference in the way that Bezier and Nerve Curves work. I'm going to add a star using the Extra Curves add-on. This star curve comes in as a Bezier curve. I'm going to go ahead and use F3 to search and type Set Spline Type. And I'll choose NURBS. Scaling it up just a little more to match our original, we can see how the NURB control points actually affect the curve. Going back to our geometry nodes, we see that we get the same result. One of the features of NURB's curves is a weight for the control points. In an upcoming patch, the weight factor of NURB's control points will be available through attributes, but they're not yet. If I run this quadrilateral into the spline type, you'll see that square control points on a NURB's curve create a circle. Now I'm going to go ahead and join this star and this quadrilateral into one curve. As you can see, both are converted to NURBS curves. This node also has a selection. You can use a spline domain attribute to select which curves you want to have converted. I'll go ahead and open up the spreadsheet. As you can see, this curve has two splines in it. I'm going to add an attribute to one of them. I'll use an attribute fill node and place it on the quadrilateral. I'll set the domain to spline, leave the value as a float, and name it convert. Now I'll set this value to 1. Now as you can see, we have a convert attribute on our curve. The star is marked as 0 and the quadrilateral is marked as 1. If I use the convert attribute in my set spline type, only the quadrilateral will be converted while the star will be left alone. If I were to move this attribute to the other side of this join, then both splines would get the convert attribute of one, and they would both be converted. Of course, if we were to add a regular NURBS curve to this scene, and make some adjustments to it, and drag this into our geometry nodes tree, we could plug this into our set spline type. Now we can of course change our NURBS curve to Bezier or to Poly. Any of the three types can be converted to any other type. Now let's take a look at the set handle type node. This node is specifically for Bezier curves as they have handles that can be controlled. Let's go ahead and plug our star into our set spline type. Since our star is made with a Poly spline, we're gonna convert this to a Bezier curve. Because the conversion started from a Poly spline, the handle types on this Bezier are set as vector. Of course, with the set handle type, we can change that. As you can see here, the handle types have now been changed to auto. I'm going to add a star curve that we can play with to get an idea of what's going on here. First, let's convert this star to a normal Bezier curve. Now you can see the handles. Again, these handles come in as vector, so pressing V, we can change them to automatic and there's the shape that we get. Each control point of a Bezier handle has three controls, the position, and then a left and right handle. 
The left and right handles type can be controlled individually. So if I choose just the left handle of this one and press V and go to vector, you'll see that just this side of the curve is adjusted. We can do the same thing with our geometry nodes. We can say only adjust the right control handles or just the left control handles. Left and right is determined by the direction of the curve. If you've selected left or right and want to select them both, you just need to shift click. We can change the handle type to any of the available modes for handles. Currently, only the positions of the control points are available through attributes, but coming soon, the positions of the handles will also be available to move independently using attributes. Much like the set spline type, we can also control the handle type conversion using a selection. If I only wanted to convert handles where the X position of the handle was greater than zero, we could do that. Let me move this node over. I'm gonna add an attribute separate XYZ. I'll choose the position vector and set the result X to a new attribute called X. I'll then add an attribute math node. From the attribute math node, I'll choose the greater than comparison. And I'll say, compare attribute X to float zero, and then put the result in a new attribute called convert. So now, if X is greater than zero, true will be put in the convert attribute. I can then use the convert attribute in my selection for changing the handle types. Of course, you should be able to come up with some really creative things to do with these nodes. Again, these two nodes will be available in Blender 3.0. They're currently in the nightly build of Blender 3.0 Alpha that's on builder.blender.org. I hope you'll check it out. So anyway, thanks for taking the time to watch the video. I hope these new nodes inspire you to make something awesome. If you're finding my content useful, make sure to hit the subscribe button and give this video a like. Thanks for stopping by and I'll catch you next time.